Good morning. There are new developments in that deadly shooting out of the Scambia County Home Depot. The mother of suspect Keith A.G. now also charged, accused of helping coordinate that murder. Her mugshot just released overnight by the Washington County Sheriff's Office in Alabama. Last night, the Escambia County Florida Sheriff's Office shared text messages they say exchanged between Keith A.G. and Sheila A.G. shortly before the 18-year-old Brooklyn Sims was shot and killed Friday afternoon. The expletive-laden text described where to go and what to do, including deleting the message. Now we have the entire text exchange on our website, uh, website right now. Last night, Sheila A.G. was at the balloon release to remember Brooklyn Sims. Our cameras captured her at Davis Park in Citronelle. You can see her with her son and Sims' young daughter. Sheila A.G. now awaiting extradition to Escambia County. She is being charged with principal to first degree murder. Friends and family of Brooklyn Sims remembering her as a loving mother with big dreams for her daughter. They released pink and purple balloons at the park in Citronelle. Some big brother, his big brother, her big brother rather, Breland Carter, tells us they're now focused on the two-year-old daughter that Sims leaves behind. We understand Keith A.G. is the girl's father, and friends tell us there were undertones of domestic violence between the couple. When it, when it first occurred, I was aware, and then there was a... A hiatus, so to speak, because, you know, she took him to court, did the, the steps she had to take to make sure he was out of her way. And somehow or another, this ended up being the result of everything that's going on. How he was even out to be able to do something like this, I don't know. Took the chance away from my niece to know her mother and know how amazing of a person she was. Two other people with minor injuries from the gunfire Friday. They're expected to be okay. Keith A.G. is being held without bond, charged with first-degree premeditated murder. And Keith A.G. has a history of domestic violence complaints filed against him, accusing him of threatening and violent behavior. Records show two other women last year filed for protection from abuse orders. One victim wrote in her petition, A.G. threatened to shoot and kill her and would ride by her home. Another victim wrote in her petition, A.G. showed up while she was at work, busted her windshield, and threatened to shoot her mother.